Hello everyone, my name is Alex and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up a virtual desktop uh, using a Quest. Um, so for those of you guys who don't know, a virtual desktop is, uh, so is a software that you can get on the Quest um, and if you have a VR capable PC you can actually stream um, essentially uh, VR games or in my case I tend to also use it a lot for uh, development as well. Um, it allows for me to get a get my headset set up a little bit quicker. Um, I just launch it right up, and you know everything's all good to go. Um, but like I said, you can also use it in um, VR games, things like that, if you have games. Um, so we'll go ahead and uh, get it set up, uh, starting with the quest here, right here. Um, before we go and jump into that, uh, if you like the video, want to support, uh, uh, like, subscribe, helps out a ton, and. Uh, Go and jump right into it. All right, so here we are. We're, we are uh, currently in the Quest. Um, this is currently my little setup here. Um, so first things first, we're going to need to actually uh, get uh, the virtual desktop application installed. This is actually a two-step process on the Quest if you want the uh, VR uh, capabilities there. Um, the VR, the virtual desktop application um, that's in the Oculus Store only supports streaming the desktop as it is uh, in a 2D. Um, it doesn't support VR, which is actually where um, SideQuest will come in um, here in a second. So, um, but we'll jump into that here in a sec. We'll first go ahead and get the application started. Um, so we're gonna wanna go ahead and jump into the Oculus Store and we go and jump into here and simply wanna look up my keyboard. Uh, virtual desktop and go and search that. Should be the first thing that pops up right here once this loads. Um, so you can actually see for me, uh, it only says install. Um, this is because I I already own virtual desktop. I've been using it for quite a while. Um, I, but the virtual desktop application, uh, if I recall, is uh, $20. All right, so it finished installing. Um, only took me another couple seconds, um, not too bad. So when you go and start it up, you should see this. Um, you can actually tell that's actually not ready to uh, receive any sort of VR from your computer. I'm um, actually from the tabs over here. Um, so you can actually see, let me actually turn off this audio real quick, cause that's annoying. Um, I really hate that. Um, so you can actually see the computer's not connected. Um, I don't have it uh, running on my computer right now, uh, cause I'll go and show you that install process. Um, but a couple things, you will want to remember your username. You will need to remember this when you go to set it up on the computer. And it also gives you the URL, but I'll show you how to find that if you don't want to follow that. Um, and you can actually tell it's not right for VR because usually there'd be a tab over here for games. Um, you know, assuming you're actually connected to a PC at the time as well. So currently it's not set up. So we'll go ahead and jump over to the computer real quick and get the remainder of this all set up. All right, so I've gone ahead. Um, I have my Quest now hooked up to my computer. Um, at this point, we actually, uh, if you don't have it set up already, you will need to uh, set up SideQuest in order to actually get the uh, VR functionality going. Because uh, there is actually in, uh, it's kind of a different version set up in SideQuest, uh, but it kind of adds on more features to the version that you would get in the Oculus Store. Um, so in order to actually get that set up, all you need to do is go virtual desktop. Ooh, there we go. Um, and here we go. Uh, so just go ahead and pull up virtual desktop and you want to go and install it to the headset. It will take a second, uh, not too long. Um, it looks like it actually already finished. So fortunately for that. Um, but before we go ahead and do that, let's go ahead and set up the, uh, the streaming client on the computer. So if you go and jump over in here, um, I'm just gonna go and search up virtual desktop. Should be the very first link that actually comes up right here, home virtual desktop, and click on that. And you will need to download the streamer app. Um, oh, there it is. <clears throat> and shouldn't take too long either. Uh, fortunately, this is a very quick and easy setup. So once that's done, we're gonna close that. Uh, you can be closed for now as well. Yes. Uh, next, next, install. And uh, we'll go and install it and we will be all good to go. 
There we go. Uh, so the streamer is set up. I'm gonna go and launch it real quick and we can go ahead and have a, another quick look at it from the headset and see how all this is set up. Um, it, it did actually start over here too and minimize. It does tend to do that. Um, I already have my username set up because I've had virtual desktop set up anyways. So when you actually go to set it up too, um, you will actually need to go in here and you will need to put in your username. Um, that one's mine, so uh, don't put that, that because that's not gonna be yours. Um, and then the rest of this should pretty much be good. Um, if you want to uh, copy like some of the settings I have here, I have changed some of them, but yeah, that's totally up to you. Um, so go and jump into the headset and check it out. All right, so we are back in virtual desktop. It should look mostly the same. Um, my computer actually did just open up and it's giving me a little prompt uh, showing me how I can get all this uh, how I can look at all this um, and you know it actually gives you like a nice little uh, I, I guess you could call it like a brief tutorial um, and you you can actually see you got a whole bunch of games and stuff over here if you have a bunch of VR games um, clearly yours is gonna look different and you can actually see too that um, we have like more settings and things like that to mess around with here as well we also have a nice little launch team VR down here uh, now we're hooked up to the computer as well, so I could actually launch Steam VR. Um, something I will recommend is uh, running games from here if you can. I know some games won't. Uh, I can't get Borderlands 2 VR to run through here, for example. Uh, I need to launch Steam VR first. But I have had issues with certain games, uh, such as Population 1, where it just will not work if you launch Steam VR and then launch it. Uh, it'll only work if you launch it directly here from games. So um, you do want to keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, there we go. All right, so that's how you set up virtual desktop uh, with the computer and your Quest, so that way you can, uh, you know, stream any kind of VR games or anything uh, from your computer to your Quest. Um, there are a couple things I want to note um, that I didn't mention during the installation process. Uh, First off, this mostly works pretty well. I have had issues with a couple of specific games um, where they just would crash my computer after half an hour. Um, now, to be fair to Virtual Desktop, I am it could very well also be due to the computer um, that I run off of as well. Uh, it's not a particularly strong computer. Um, and another issue I've also had um, is, of course, streaming latency, which, again, will vary depending on uh, your network setup and all that kind of stuff. Um, I've had a little bit of latency here and there. Um, while the network I run on here is pretty decent, it's not always perfect, and I do tend to run into little dips here and there. Um, but, you know, if, if you've got, you know, if everything works good for you, then... <laughs> You know, uh, it's definitely a little bit better than uh, having to be wired directly into a computer. Um, and I would certainly recommend uh, running any sort of VR games or anything like that this way if you have the capability and the option to do so. Um, so with that, uh, that's the end of this video. So uh, again, if you enjoyed, like, subscribe, helps out a lot. And uh, see you next time.